In your final workshop, you're going to be exploring some of the issues that we discussed in the course material, looking at um, copyright, acceptable use policies, the processes you need to adhere to within schools, including things such as risk assessments and the mechanisms involved in that, and also some of the issues that you may come across around screen time and digital devices and the opportunities that are involved in excursions and incursions and the processes you need to or should put in place to ensure that you continue to develop as a professional in the area of technologies education in terms of professional associations in particular. So there'll be some discussion around those issues and your activity this week is focused on the idea of the design cycle. So we've mentioned this many times during the course, but it is so fundamental. The idea that we want students to fail and then work through that design cycle several times as they slowly, progressively improve to a point where they gain success. It's one of the things we do very badly in education. We see failure as a negative, that particularly in technologies education, it needs to be reframed as an essential part of the learning journey. Now, students are well versed with this in computer games, for example. A computer game where you achieve success at the very first try would be a very poor game. Computer games are designed for students to fail many times before they eventually achieve success. That's why they're engaging. That's why they're so effective in learning. Of course, students have to learn how to actually achieve success in that game. Technologies education uses the same processes. It's just that in other aspects of education, we train our students to be risk adverse, to see failure as something to be avoided at all costs. So the idea of this week's exercise is around paper planes. You're to design and build a paper plane to achieve various outcomes. Your tutor will set the outcomes. It may be to fly the furthest. It may be to stay in the air the longest. But there are dozens of other possible outcomes that you'll work with your tutor to explore. Other things that we could measure that we could try to achieve through making paper planes. So it's a simple activity but there is a wealth of design opportunities in terms of learning the design process. Now, learning about making paper planes is relatively trivial. Yes, there's some great cross-curriculum learnings with science and about aerodynamics and all the rest. There's some interesting aspects around materials, about how the weight of different materials and the properties of the materials. But by far the best learning from a paper plane making activity is, that, is the processes going through the investigation, the design, the building, the evaluation, and then iterating that. Because paper planes can be made quite quickly. We can go through that process relatively quickly and students can have opportunities to learn from their mistakes, to modify their designs and come up with better designs. So the first time they make a paper plane, it may only go one meter. The next time it might go two meters. The 10th time it might go five meters, 10 meters. They're learning how to improve upon their solution. That's the real focus of technologies education. And that's what you should explore and experience as part of this, our final technologies workshop.